Hi there, my name is Nethiam, and today we're playing Subnautica. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you are having a great day. When we last left off, we were going to try to go to the Aurora, but uh, we got a little sidetracked trying to build all the stuff that I wanted to get before I went to the Aurora. But I think I ha basically have it. I need a fire extinguisher, but I think I might find one on the way. Um, so really what I need now is a laser cutter. I'm pretty sure I need one of those in order to uh, get into the Aurora, at least to make my life easier getting into the Aurora. Um... If it could be one of those things where I need either, uh, either a laser cutter or a fire extinguisher, I can't remember. It's been too long since I've went to the Aurora. Uh, a battery. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these janky batteries because I don't think it matters. Uh, hello? Oh, titanium. Okay. So laser cutter. Go. I like that it uses diamonds as if it's like a diamond saw, even though it's a laser. <laughs> I suppose you could argue that the diamond is used to focus the laser lens. 49. That's how much it had when I when I arrived. So yeah, I don't think the moon pool repairs. I didn't think it did, but I don't know why my Seamoth had a hundred percent battery. Uh, or health last episode when I took it out for the first time. Um, alrighty. I think it's time. I think we're here. I think it's time. Radiation suit on. Should have built a compass, but we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll build the compass in 10 episodes from now. If we're lucky because I'm planning to build it now. And now means later. Uh, on alternatively to hoping, just, just hoping, just here's hoping, uh, that there is a fire extinguisher on the Aurora. I think there's a life pod on the way somewhere around here. They may also have a fire extinguisher. Probably should be stopping at these. Just cause there's probably scannables, like whatever this is. That's a chair. <laughs> Not really anything I need, but I'll take it. Um But like, you know. Um, how often am I like, oh, I really need a thing. I better go out and look for it. And it turns out I've been here already and didn't didn't scan everything. I have the laser cutter, cutter I suppose. So I could. Oh, that can't. That's not even accessible. Never mind. Can't do that. I assume there is a door. Yeah, there is. That needs to be repaired. Oh, interesting. That is not what I was expecting. Yeah, cool. I don't I don't remember having to do that ever. I'm sure I did. I just don't remember it. Alright, what do we got? Sea glide! Oh, what a disappointment. For real? That's like there's gotta be more than that. Less than half oxygen. This seems like a good idea. It's a mobile vehicle bay. Oh, man. This has not gone well. Beacon. Oh, my gosh. Who decided what went in here? Stasis rifle? That might be the only thing I don't have. Nope, I did already. All right, let's get out of here before I die of asphyxiation, which is any moment up. Yeah. Wow, uh, there might be more in there, and I will I will investigate later. Whoop! Clearly not the right way, but for now, I'm just gonna move on and see if I run into. I'm pretty sure there is a life pod rolling around near the Aurora. 
if I'm not mistaken. And I'm sure not every life pod is going to have a, well, evidently not every life pod is going to have a fire extinguisher. The last li two life pods I found have not had fire extinguishers. You look conspicuous. That is a stasis rifle, which I already have. Uh, that is also, or not a stasis rifle, but per propulsion cannon. I have that. All right, here we are, the Aurora. Ooh, but, but, we got treasure chests. That's also a propulsion cannon. That's a med kit, I'm probably gonna need that. Okay, I don't know if I wanna mess around down there. This is Reaper territory a little bit, so I don't really wanna mess around too much. Usually I see a Reaper around the back of the Aurora, but. In this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem. I'll bet. Contained within the next 24 hours. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to manage that, but we'll see. Let's see how well I do. Warning ship's structural integrity is low. I believe that. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted Hello? at your own risk. Is it not... Is it not... Left click at all? Left click doesn't do anything with the knife? No. <laughs> you walking on the fire? Okay. Right, they don't hurt a ton. But it's enough to not be a fan. A battery. I'll take that. I assume it's full, so I'm happy about that. Um. <sighs> I'm not. I'm not specifically seeing ow. Oh, thanks. Well, certainly that one does. All right. Well, this path, I'm almost positive, requires a fire extinguisher. So, even if I don't need a laser cutter. Ah, oh, there is one there. Okay, fantastic. I, I'm, I, I'm not terribly surprised. It would be, it would be a little brutal to make you come all the way up here. Oh, I thought that was a fire extinguisher, actually. I thought that's what I was seeing right here, but no. Uh, there was one, though. Probably don't even actually need that. Um, so maybe I didn't really need one to get on the ship. I'm certainly going to need one to go in there. Aurora systems yeah. Are running on local reserve Hit me. Power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Okay. What's this? Integrating new... Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer mm -hmm. Bartley and Chief Technology Officer you identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley, install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone, I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. <laughs> sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. Oh, great. Uh, drone, I know... His name's Albert now. <laughs> Albert. I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, <laughs> this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Yeah. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored. I take a space walk in my skivvies. Amazing. Okay. Did he say propulsion? He did. Um. Finally in open space, we cross the galaxy to install a phase gate. Use birthday. 
one five one four five four cargo bay code. I think that is the piece of information I need. All right, what's this? Uh, Altara launches the Aurora. Further reaches of inhabited space are due to expand. Do 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 do. Their elite team of engineers will begin a six-month construction project on the new phase gate. Yay! I'm sure that all worked out super well. Nothing bad happened at all. What is this? This doesn't look like anywhere I can go, even if I did put that fire out. Which I'm not going to, because I don't want to waste my CO2. <laughs> Bunk. Alright, this... Theoretically, you want me to propulsion cannon this out of the way? What if I don't want to, though? What if instead I decide to not? Ow. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I wasn't looking at my health, but I didn't think that was going to kill me that fast. Maybe it was already down quite a bit. I hadn't really been paying that much attention to it. You lost some of your belongings. Do I? Can I get them back? Because I lost the fire extinguisher, <laughs> which I'm a little bummed out about. That's the thing I didn't want to lose. Uh... Nice. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll bring these. Oh, I also lost that battery. Did I just lose everything I got? Uh, since I left the base. That makes sense. Um, yeah, I lost the fat laser, or uh, kept the laser cutter. I kept pretty much anything else. I think you basically, any, every time you come into a, <gasps> the sea moth is over there. Oh, what a pain. Oh, well. Um, every time you enter a habitat, I think that's when it sort of records. Uh, we're a little low. Let me go ahead and grab a tiny bit of food. Yeah, man, the... The, uh... Uh... Hot knife. Would be really nice. That's really handy for food. Because you can just cook. Cook a peeper. Right on site. You don't have to find, uh... Fabricator anytime you want to eat something Just makes life so much easier I can't remember if you can get your items back at all I feel like you cannot but because I can't remember how I have no like there's nothing in my memory that kind of <laughs> is like oh, yeah, it drops it in a little box or Your body's there or anything like that. I don't I think I, any of those things are true, so I think nothing? There's no way those things are just gone forever, though. I feel like sometimes you... Like, what if I had a purple tablet? Or... Ion cubes, or something like that. I feel like some things are sort of precious enough that you wouldn't want to lose them forever. But, I can't remember. Can't remember if this game is that brutal or not. We're about to find out. In 800 meters. And hopefully there's no Reaper around. <laughs> this is going to be a really awkward trip if there is. Boom, 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 boom. I know there is a life pot around here. It's probably just down there somewhere. That was, that was too close to the Aurora when I was looking for it. Lots of metal scrap. Doesn't seem like there's anything to scan around here. A little bit of a bummer. Ooh, hold on. It's probably a propulsion cannon. I should probably make a propulsion cannon, to be honest. I was I was back at the base. That would have been the, probably the time to make a propulsion cannon. Ooh, hello. It's probably just water, but I'll take it. Nope, it's a battery. I'll take that too. Wait, are all the things just reclosed? Is that what happened? They just went back? 
Huh? That doesn't seem right. Oh, gosh. Didn't realize it was that low. <laughs> Whoops. These don't just reseal, do they? Oh, no, that one's open. Okay. I was going to say. I don't... I don't think that's how the inventory works. I don't think when you die, things just go back to where they were or anything like that. Which is a problem. Probably means I'm not going to find that fire extinguisher there anymore. And if I don't get to get it from my body, that means I don't get a fire extinguisher. So, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. I also could theoretically go the other way, I think. I think there's a way you can go that requires the laser cutter. Um, and not a fire extinguisher. Actually, this way didn't even really require a fire extinguisher. This, oh, 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 oh. This fire is a walk-aroundable. But all right, please tell me that my stuff is here. <sighs> oh, it is. It's just on the ground. Problem is, the fire extinguisher. <laughs> okay. Can I bind this to a thing? I sure cannot. Can I walk around here? Not without burning myself. Uh, amazing. Oop. Oh, yeah, that hurts a lot. Oh, no. But maybe it dropped on the ground. That time, because I was, I'd moved to the right a little bit. So maybe that'll be, uh, Maybe that would be more available. Man, you lose a lot of hunger when you die. Come here. Come here, you. That seems unnecessary. <laughs> Why don't you lose thirst? Maybe you just start with half hunger. Just As a newborn clone, you start with half hunger. All right, let's sea glide our way back again. And hopefully we can actually pick up our <laughs> fire extinguisher this time. I don't know if I fully need the fire extinguisher to move past that point, but I'm fairly confident that I'm going to need that fire extinguisher somewhere. Somewhere in the Aurora is a point that I cannot get past without a fire extinguisher, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. It could be. It could have just been that one room, and that was it. And I've done it already, but I don't think so. I think a couple more places I'm going to need it. <laughs> oh, man. I'll meet you back there. All right. Uh, yay! <laughs> Wait, where'd it go? There it is. All right. Incredible. I'm going to put this fire out. How much fire do I have? Or how much, uh, 43%? Unbelievable. Can I not put this fire out? <gasps> Maybe I can't. Oh. Trying to keep me from doing this, huh? Ooh. Well, it didn't work. Too, too, too much skill for you. All right, well, I didn't need the fire extinguisher at the end of it anyway. But whatever. Battery. All right, what was it? One, four, five, four. Oh? Yeah, I mean, it kind of looks like holes. I feel like we've done holes in the past. All right, what do we got here? 
This looks promising. Cyclops engine fragment, fantastic. Ha ha ha. I love the Cyclops. I can't wait. Okay. Um, what do we got here? Uh, Transgov profile. Ooh, almost. Although most Transgovs can trace their roots back to Earth, Altera, literally meaning by Earth, is the only one brazen enough to take its name. <laughs> wow. Uh, well known Altera technologies like the Cyclops submersible originated with such private, enter private enterprises. Neato. All right. Ooh, a little food. I don't think if we take that. All right, let's look around in here just a little bit more before we move on, just in case there's something to scan or pick up. Maybe there's a little bit of extra food. I feel like there is no version of this where these boxes aren't full of incredibly vital and uh, important things. And we're just wandering off without opening a single one of them. <laughs> but whatever. I wasn't on the ship. Riley was. Maybe he knows exactly what's in here. What was he, a janitor? Whoop. All right, still not a ton in these boxes, which is not really a big deal. I mean, there's really one thing that we're here for. Um, let's see here, I've got a repair tool. So we're gonna use it on this. I know it doesn't make any sense narratively. <laughs> but it really nice if the fire extinguisher just took batteries. Uh, ooh, is that a depth module? Fantastic, not that I really need it. Seamoth fragment, definitely don't need that. I came here in a seamoth, so I'm good on that front. VR Sweet Log. Loading program, Desert Island Drama. Uh, three players. Spawning players on beach. <laughs> one Player one has been washed away by the unusually high tide. <laughs> player two has traded a coconut with player three for 10 credits. Player three has planted a coconut. Players are getting hungry. <laughs> uh, player two has traded 30 credits for a musket. Player three has been shot twice in the head while sleeping. Player two wins. Player two has died from cold and starvation. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like survival games. Not this survival game or anything like that. I don't know what survival game we might be talking about here, but it has a vaguely survival game vibe about it. All right, finally, let's get this laser cutter going. Come on, laser cutter, it's just you and me. Boom. Get it. Let's get in there. Bonk. All right. Uh, anything fun in any of these? Look at all these lockers. You're telling me you're not going to try to open not one of these, Riley? Before I pick up that data pad, I don't know. It's all. It's all data pads. It's data pads all the way down. Sweet offer from Huggins to Wilson. You're telling me you've been on this rig more than a year and you never took a ride on the outside? Well, now you've only gone and gotten yourself a friend with the keys to a giant frickin' robot suit. We've plain got nothing to do till we get Starside to work on the gate. You want to taste the stars you've only got to say. My spare prawn suit's got your name on it. You don't know what power feels like till you've crushed an asteroid with your bare, heavily mechanically augmented hands. Want to play catch with a passing meteor? Come by cabin number one. Codes 1869. I'll remember that. That's the, that's the takeaway. Thanks, buddy. And that also seems insanely dangerous. Uh, mission orders to uh, crew of the Mo Mongolian vessel Degazi. Oh, Degazi is a previous ship. I forgot about that. We are not the first person on this planet. Um, Adrian, Mongolian vessel the Degazi disappeared almost a decade ago. Came with it a high-ranking Mongolian chief. Corporate insurance has purchased mis uh, passage aboard the Aurora for emissary Kazar. In order are to make every reasonable effort to locate and retrieve the Degazi crew members without compromising the primary mission. Confirming the fate of the crew will aid Altera's diplomatic efforts with the Mongolian councils. Uh, Aurora is due to perform a slingshot maneuver about 40, around 4546B, approximately 13 months post-launch. 
So bring the ship within range of the Degasi's last known position. Additional aquatic and all-terrain vehicles have been included in the Rourke's cargo package for this mission. Degasi crew manifesto has been distributed to senior employees in a separate message. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Just batteries, battery a clock around here, which I'm not complaining about. Oh, there's no oxygen. Oh, no, there sure is oxygen. Just right there. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Cabin one. This is not cabin one. You got this, buddy. Boy, I need another fire extinguisher real quick. Hopefully. Oh, why did I even put that out? I thought that was a door. Oh, what a disaster. <laughs> we should go back to the... Maybe go back to the... Back home real quick. Recharge that. Oh, boy. Okay. Lots of good stuff in here. And by lots of good stuff, I mean the prawn suit. Just basically why I'm here. For all intents and purposes. <laughs> I basically just wanted the prawn suit. Oh, yeah? Okay. Good to know. And there we go. Oh, no, it's four. I forgot it was four. I think that's the only thing so far that's been four. Even the oh storage module, nice. Um, even the Colossus or Colossus Cyclops is uh, not four technically. Each piece, it's 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 six, but or a nine, but each piece is only three. All right, what do we got up here? Uh, living quarters. Ooh, a f power cell. No way. Nice. Uh, there's definitely stuff down there. Uh, we'll get there in a minute. Uh, supply. Water bottles. Amazing. Food. Look, there's just no reason not to pick this stuff up. That is incredible things to have all the time. I'll drink a water now. Uh, fire extinguisher. Nope. Yes. No? No. There, fire extinguisher. Let's see if I can get through here without needing to use the one I have. Amazing. 100%. Awesome. I had a feeling there was going to be another one. I suppose I don't really need to do that, do I? Since I got through it without using it. Uh, today's menu, starter, space bear, velute, cottage pie, or nutrient block. Hey, dessert, dried fruit, and nuts. <laughs> Unfortunately, a recent accident on Cargo 3 involving the incorrect application of a repulsion cannon <laughs> in combination with a modified battery charger resulted in the venting into space all of all dehydrated desserts. Fruit and nuts will be the only available dessert for the next 39 weeks. Oof. Brutal. I'll take that. Don't have to tell me to take a cat poster twice. Locked. Well, if you say so. All right, is there anything particularly interesting in the fire here? It would appear no. Can I have one of these? <laughs> um, let's see. Do I need to be in here for any reason? Doesn't seem like it. And by here, I mean in the fire, not that room necessarily. And we got cabin one over there. This is probably going to be something I want to go into. So let's put this fire out. Um, we got this guy. Tyler Al Alms, charity is an arcade or concept with which the realism of today's alterance has rendered obsolete. Woo! We understand that we are each responsible for ourselves, but the best way to get the most of for ourselves is to work together with Altera. The implication of this reasoning is clear. If someone is in need, they must find a way to be needed. Altera Alms is a training academy for those that need to be needed. We're not a charity because we don't ask for handouts. 
We prefer to think of ourselves as a philanthropic ben- ben- beneficence facilitation service promoting synergy between employer and workforce. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. A single bed. Lovely. I'll take it. Oh, I'll take a battery too. My inventory is quickly filling up with very nice, very, uh, very nice things that I want. Oh. Interesting. I can bring this with me? Can I, like, dump stuff in it? Oops. And then bring it with me? Bag is not empty. Cannot pick up. Never mind. So... Inventory's full, which means it takes up more than a slot. Ah, oh, man, this is frustrating. All right, let me just do that. That's unnecessary, but... A carry-all? What the heck? Common bag for transporting personal items. You say, but... But... If I can't... What? What's the, what's the point? What's the point in putting it here? And having storage, if I can't pick it up when it has stuff in it, I don't, I don't quite, it's just a chest, and I don't entirely know why I'd want that. I can make chests. Um, yeah. Listen, I know oh. I don't have the right to make demands of you, but okay. I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. Cool. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. <laughs> How would you like to change? But I won't do it. I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? Can't go in there. To zero. You're dumping me. I am <laughs> changing the terms of our relationship. How is oh, this boy. a relationship if we don't see each other? <laughs> it's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility <laughs> in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you oh, need to take man. Of your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? <laughs> I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. Jeez. <laughs> Can you imagine? If that's... If that's what it was like being with that person. Oh my gosh. Could I wear this? I assume I can't wear that. That might also be decorative. Uh, I want all of these things. <laughs> but my inventory is tragically full. Just tragically full. Uh, responsible autonomous relationships. All the good things in life are commodities. Wow. Uh, if one member of a relationship should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model. Ask whether it is performing competitively. There's always room for improvement. Wow, this sucks. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I think that's going to have to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. When I come back with more Subnautica, I think I'm going to head to the base. Um, it's so that we can put, put away some of this just absolutely luxuriously overflowing inventory of food and med packs and batteries and maybe i'll just start the next episode back here um after having gone gone back home and come back here uh that way we don't have to you know we don't have to wander back and forth but we'll just i'll just start here but with a with an empty inventory and i'll move all this stuff back to the base all right thank you so much for joining me i can't wait to see you again i hope you have an incredible day all right bye Thank you again for watching the video. If you'd like to see more from me, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. I'd also very much love to hear from you down in the comments below.